missions organized by Foundation for Advanced Training in Plant Breeding conjointly with the University of Horticultural Sciences, Bagalkot. With a seamless experience, this conference served as a platform for experts, researchers and professionals to discuss the breakthroughs, share their experiences and foster meaningful connections. As wonderfully pointed by Vice Chancellor Dr. S. V. Suresha, Lab to Land and Land to Lab, hope we shall carry most of it through this platform. We are now heading towards the plenary session. I now request Dr. N. K. Krishnakumar to welcome the delegates on the dais. Dr. Maheshwarapa Swami, Dr. Akadi, Dr. Aparna. I know that it has been a two days of uh, sitting many of you and I admire your patience. Sometimes I wonder if I had so much. I would not take much time, but uh, without wasting much time, what I would say request is from each session, uh, who from either the chair, co-chair or the reporter or by one can come and in very briefly mention a couple of points so that it become much easier. So this is a, a let's not waste too much time. Can I who's the first session? Uh, anybody from the first session? Dr. Pra Prabhakar? Or Neva, uh, huh? So, what do you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think Dr. Neva, you are present. Thanks. Next session, young. Yeah. Good afternoon everybody, dignitaries of the Dayas of the Dayas. This is a session to national and regional scenario in tomato production and economics. Uh, the salient points that emerged during this uh, deliberation uh, is uh, there should be a tomato processing facility at every sizable tomato producing cluster in the country, which may be operated by FEO, like the example we had uh, by the first presenter. This can act as a stop loss arrangement to the farmers, like Sahya Bay Farm operates in Nasik tomato production cluster. In this mechanism, at least cost of production plus small profit is assured to the farmer during the season. The one more model here is most of the contract farming, we are knowing that uh, the farmers are not many, many times interested because the farmer and contractors are wedded. So here, in this model, is beneficial to farmers as the processing plants will accept B and C grade tomatoes. Also, farmers are free to sell them in open market if prices are higher than the price fixed in the processing unit. So, adoption of software or program like a Togo software that was uh, mentioned there and uh, operated by startups. The book the Indian from farmers market intelligence. This helps in assessing the glut in the short supply situation. There's a global marketing possibility for the processed products of tomato. If processing plant and varieties are grown are in tune to meet the global standard and processing can be taken as a glut management situation. For excessive process, exclusive processing purpose, a non-state varieties are uh, may be possible and that's a different scenario that will not come help us in a glut situation management. And many challenges are pointed by the uh, esteemed speaker for Western India and for the Telangana region, uh, Dr. Srinivas Rao and for the Northern region uh, by IABR scientist. And also for the Eastern India, the many challenges are the mentioned are weather triggered diseases, mainly the virus diseases and other leaf borne diseases. So finally, <clears throat> during the session, the chairman concluded that since tomato is a considerably consumed as a fresh product to a larger extent, total price stability in all the season the location may be difficult. But buffering the price may be possible providing proper market network, processing variety to manage the glut, transportation subsidies. Breeding better ways to manage the weather triggered by stress. Thank you very much. We'll be compiling the recommendations of each and every session. And through email, it will also be circulated to all of you so that everyone, uh, in a comprehensive way, uh, can also give the feedback or whatever if some points are missing. For the plant protection, I mean, productivity session, Dr. Rawal was there. Who is going to present on behalf of Rawal? Please, Krishna Prasad. So you are going to present. Yes. Dr. Deshpande, next I think you will present. Dr. BNS Murthy session, who is going to present on markets? 
markets, anybody? Okay, that was a, we just to find out. Uh, Dr. Harish, you are going to present, or J.S. Prakash. Dr. Fakridi, on the Fakridi is here, you are here. And Dr. Padmini, she was here. Padmini, you just make and then next up or if it's need, no need to get time. Meanwhile, uh, we will try to contact Dr. B.N.S. Murthy and see for his session who is the person who is going to make a presentation. So it will be very, very brief. Uh, it's okay. Okay. So we will try, try to uh, get from them. So it will be, um, uh, you know, we are uh, try, trying to also manage time. So, yes. Good evening, friends. This is the Crop Improvement and Productivity Session uh, headed by Dr. Adi Ravali, the chairman, and myself is the co-chairman, and Dr. Shankarappa is the rapporteur. There are five speakers. One is a virtual speaker from AVRDC. The remaining four are Dr. Tiku, Dr. Prasanna, Dr. Radhamani, and Dr. Jagir Hussain. I summarized their presentation. I put it in a points. I will read only those points. By creating variability, tried this diversity are important for genetic manipulations. Emphasizing the use of mutants to study the gene functions is one of the essential tools and emphasize the drastic reductions in sequence costs through uh, international collaborations. Traditional breeding, molecular breeding, and smart breeding or speed, speed breeding are the important breeding techniques for the crop improvement. Emphasize the improvement of tomato through genomics and high throughput sequencing. Emphasize the consumer quality, yield, shelf life, transportability, taste and nutritional quality for the improvement program. The incorporation of different trait integration in tomato from TY1 to bacterial B, TY1 plus bacterial yield, TY2, the early blight, TY3, early late blight to meet the high degree of disease tolerance and resistance in developing improved cultivars. Developing tuta resistance, heat tolerance and spirit breeding for tomato improvement. To overcome the rise and fall of tomato price, tomato crossing to be strengthened through breeding for traits such as high mix ratio, viscosity and heat tolerance. Robust protocol developed by IB seeds for the bacterial build screening must be utilized by the uh, industry and all the educational institutions. Multiple disease resistant tomato hybrids such as TOLCV hybrid 6, Osa Sankranti hybrid 8, and hybrid 5 or 6 have been released for the farmers cultivation around the, across the country can be taken up. And finally, five conclusions we can say. Breeding tomatoes of high quality nutrition drives long shelf life, short transportability and taste. Employ smart and speed uh, breeding techniques, molecular breeding besides textile breeding for crop improvement and crop production, utilization and cultivation of multiple disease resistant combination for tomato crop improvement without compromising sustainable yield, good bacterial weed screening methods are to be standardized, and that can be whatever the INB has suggested can be utilized for our research programs. Multiple disease resistant hybrids for improved production have been used, can be used for our production. <coughs> Through the proceedings of se session 3B, land protection and productivity. The four uh, uh, topics with the five speakers. The first was IBM of insect and nematodes on tomato and food safety under open and protected cultivation by Dr. Sridhar V and Dr. Uma Maheshwari, ICR at Bangalore. Here the basis thing was adapting IPM is the best option for tuta management. Uma Maheshwari stressed the need and role of Makuna and marigold crop rotation and incorporation coupled with neem cake, neem cake and biological as the key steps to manage tomato nematodes. Good nursery practices are the major tools to manage the pests in the early stage uh, needs to be reinforced. Efforts to identify the phytochemicals in Makuna to explore the same in nematode management. Then second, viral, a major viral disease epidemiology and management by Dr. M. Krishna Reddy. 
First one, Dr. Krishna Reddy presented the overview of tomato viruses and vectors, their management through resistant genes and PP measures. He highlighted the need to monitor and manage aphid vector being non-colonizing in nature on tomato. He said the need for monitoring carefully the toxicoviruses and their vectors, choleroviruses and tomato brown rubus fructinensis viruses which may pose problems. Dr. Krishna Reddy also mentioned three species of aphis, that is aphis gossipi, aphis parsinara and mysis persicae. The, uh, and this uh, and, uh, highlighted the eradication of early infected viral plants from the field as the first step to manage viral diseases. The role of role of biological for food safety and sustainable sustainable management of tomato crop. Uh, the, the talk was given by Dr. Navin Kulkarni. The Navin Kulkarni started with the classification of biologicals, which is still not clear, and highlighted the opportunity and roles in plant production, productivity and quality of crops, with emphasis on tomato. He did mention the uh, then he highlighted the limitations and lapses in the current market products and emphasize the need for establishing standards and quality checks measures for the same. Then last stop was manage, managing seed and seeding chain in integrating the market by Dr. S.K. Tiko. Now Dr. Tiko highlighted the role of seeds and seedlings in crop production and productivity. Today's seedling industry estimated to be around 1800 crores worth and is still growing at 5% annually and stress the need for reinforcing the nursery industry by active involvement of seed industry and public extension services. Dr. Krishna Reddy shared with the house that recently in Chikpalapur, Karnataka, an, initiati an initiative has been initiated to sensitize the nurserymen, that is over 100 of them, in producing and supply quality and disease-free seedling in collaboration with Karnataka State Department Horticulture. KSDH has assured to take this initiative in a regular development and program. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. This is a proceedings of panel discussion about two gaps in transfer of technology. And uh, <clears throat> I will not take the names, I will just uh, read some of the saving points. And we had an opportunity of listening to Honorable Vice Chancellor during this period, but that, that has not appeared here. But he gave very relevant and important points recorded later on, may be required, it can be incorporated. Salient points which uh, emerged <coughs> during this uh, session was that transfer of technology is a two way process. Need as our is to address the multiple challenges collectively. In the present times, a win win situation from a private sector is largely expected in terms of sharing the jump plasm and supporting the research problems. The private sectors too should focus on developing model villages through effective transfer of technology programs, microclimate management, apps, and IoT based interventions to be given priority in coming days. Precision weather, price predictions, and market dynamics is the need of the hour. Target oriented private sector transfer of technology approach should be changed for the benefit of the farming community. Liberal and significant investments on transfer of technology from private sectors. The need of the institutional support to the farmers with special reference, Dr. Samuel from Mizra, with continuity, continuing capacity building and hand holding. Any transfer of technology intervention should be aimed at soil, plant, and human health chain. The concept of local crop doctor model, raised by Dr. Vasant Kumar Timkapur, who is here, need to be evolved and adopted by various stakeholders involved in extension work. He also highlighted the various gaps concerning to transfer of technology with information gap, input gap, investment gap. Another suggestion was mechanism for variety or hybrid evaluation of private sector before releasing into farmers field by states, public sector undertakings, R&D institutes, very important chain. He also, Dr. Mahesh Varapa also asked for competency in social sense discipline needs to be strengthened in farming sector. Thank you. These are the very 
concretized salient points which uh, we could make out. Uh, other things would be there. One or two points which Dr. Suresh Vaishansal also have come. Now I am seeing it, but I didn't take the name. Thank you very much. Thank you, Namaskar. Good evening to everyone. Our session was parallel session 3, uh, Potential of Gene Editing and uh, Genetic Engineering. It was held in the conference hall of post, uh, Directorate of Postgraduate Studies in the BS and H College. Uh, this was a, this particular topic, I mean, to this session we had a well attended, it was a well attended uh, uh, parallel session. In fact, uh, uh, we had expected about 30, 35, but we had more number of audience over there. Uh, Dr. Nataraj Karpa was the moderator of this particular topic. Uh, he had done a uh, homework, he had divided the topic into uh, seven different subtopics and he had shared the questions to, uh, to the panelists uh, well before and we had a definite go to go uh, in that way. Dr. Nataraj Karba, uh, he gave a elaborate presentation of what is this technology all about and how potential it is and he set that tone with that presentation. Then Madam Malati, Dr. V.G. Malati, former principal scientist uh, IRI, she gave a detailed note on the genetic, I mean the genome editing technique and the strategies that can be explored and exploited in order to create the variability that, that is needed to us. Plus, uh, Dr. Malati also emphasized on how this tool can be used to do a deeper molecular biology study. So basically she explained the different elements that are involved in this particular tool that interested everyone. Then we had the talk from Dr. S.R. Bhatt. Uh, a former emeritus scientist, IRI, and a person who is deeply involved in this particular tool, uh, both from regulatory perspective and the person who is involved in this. And that was a great thing we had uh, as an opportunity to, to listen to him. Uh, in his presentation, he gave a very detailed note on ethical and regulatory concerns of this particular technology. And he himself, being a part of the very draft of the, uh, the act, uh, and on which this particular tool is now available to have been deregulated to the country. Uh, it was a very informative uh, 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 talk by him. Uh, he elaborated the tool and he, he told uh, about how this particular tool is, uh, has different implications in different backgrounds. So uh, with that, we had a, another uh, uh, speaker coming online, Dr. Mohan. Uh, he gave a global perspective of genome editing and how this particular technology in different geographies is being look, looked upon. And then we had another uh, online presentation by Dr. Ravindran, Director of Research at TNAU. He told about importance of the collaborations and importance of sharing the data. He also came up with his own studies and he compared that with the plant breeding approaches and this approach and, and then how one can make a dent uh, using this particular tool. Then we had a uh, very good presentation by Dr. Suresh Reddy. Uh, he really emphasized on aspects related to education and public awareness uh, besides giving certain uh, tips uh, so as how this tool can be uh, you know carefully used much before putting into actual uh, actual plant breeding users uh, he also uh, emphasized on need to use the information in the i mean need to give the information in the textbooks so that you know many people will come to know we had a lot of questions uh, related to i mean from the audience related to toxicology, the way in which the, I mean, the institutional biosafety companies have to function in the new re regime and uh, how to release the varieties that are coming out of this particular tool and what is its implications on biodiversity, toxic toxicity and issues related to this. It was a, in fact, uh, we wanted one more hour and there were a lot of questions and very interesting uh, discussion it was. Thank you. presenting the action plans for the panel discussion for uh, contracted seed production of tomatoes and export opportunity. The moderator was uh, Sharad Deshpande and uh, there were four panelists. And uh, I would uh, briefly read out the action points. The biggest challenge to contract seed production of tomatoes are uh, seed borne diseases to viruses and phytosanitary measures are a must for uh, the export market. And uh, breeding uh, disease resistant varieties will not only increase yield but also the quality. Um, and collective team efforts from all stakeholders are very important. And uh, excellent opportunity exists uh, for the seed market and uh, for breeding uh, and new markets exist for export in these countries and African countries. 
and uh, IP problems are existing in seed production which needs to be addressed and the value chain needs to be strengthened and good procurement price to be fixed balancing uh, with the crop growers and the exporters. And uh, there is a need for more number of ISTA accredited labs for serial testing uh, for getting good quality seeds for export market and uh, incentives to top growers uh, for high yield who produce high yield quality and genetic purity uh, is being practiced and it needs to be encouraged in future also. And some of the research points which emerged out of all this discussion were pollen cryopreservation techniques um, need to be brought uh, uh, research on these aspects need to be done along with the facility uh, when in practical seed production area and presence of virus and uh, in the progenies of the fruits also need to be determined and uh, the, uh, the test needs to be done and effect of TSP treatment for seed extraction needs to be thoroughly studied um, on mainly on storage aspects and season, uh, season effects and uh, emphasis also is given to reduce the cost of hybrid seed production reactor so that it becomes more profitable to everyone. Thank you. Secondly, a second scrutiny, third scrutiny of this proceedings, because I know she hardly had 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, so, Dev Pandeji, you are Sharad, you have to just again, a lot of pickling and it has to be done and see. Uh, there were two sessions, one on market uh, elasticity and volatility uh, for some reason. Uh, we don't know with whom they. So, okay, that session you hand it over here and the other session, okay, and the other session on protected cultivation also the proceedings will come tomorrow. So, we will just collage this whole thing and try to circulate to all of you for the uh, excellent. Now, um, so is there any general feedback? Uh, that you guys want to know. I know one suggestion came here. I don't know whether others have put in something. So if there is anything, please give your uh, uh, feedback or whatever it is. In fact, what we would like is each one of you scribble something and put it in the feedback before you go. It will be really nice uh, because uh, except scolding. Um, uh, you know, um, so anything that anybody wants to suggest is okay. Any other general feedback before I hand over the mic to Aparna? Dr. Harish, you want to say something? See much of the, uh, uh, from the farmers' from the farmers' end, not much voice raised or issues raised. Not quite a few farmers, I think. So we have to take their uh, good point. Good point. Uh, well, not for police. Yeah, doctor. When crop cultivation insurance will be given, insurance is there. Why not we go for recommendation from our uh, symposium? But the seed production farmers also. Yes. See, there are lots of tomatoes. Put it in your recommendation. Yeah. Put it in your recommendation. Uh, because uh, one, one second. One second. I'll do that. But I'll come for us. He has raised the hand before. Uh, please. How about it? About next year's speak. I think great uh, two days uh, of session. I think if the pre read can be circulated before the presentation. Uh, before the workshop, uh, the participants can go through and shoot their questions well in advance. What should be circulated? The pre-read of the presentations. Okay. okay just a suggestion. Okay. I can just see whether it is feasible. Second, I know the constraint on time, but more time could be given to the question and answer session. Thank you. Three days. Yeah, I suggested two and a half days at least. I only want your answer I can give is. मैं अभी अभी इनके कह रहा था एक आदमी को स्टेरिंग दे दे वो ही विल बिकम ए किंग एंड ये पर्सन यू गिव हिम माइ ही बिकम्स द बॉस दैट्स वाइ प्रीडिड इज इज गुड पीपल कैन गो थ्रू एंड एंड डॉक्टर डॉक्टर सर एक्चुअली द आई थिंक दिस ऑल दिस टॉमेटो कॉन्फ्रेंस केम दिस मच एर्लीज बिकॉज़ � but see, we analyzed it that maybe virus, maybe uh, rain, and other things. This is a problem happening every year, it's happening. But never price went up to this level. So, one clue we got is the Maharashtra sowing was less this year. To get this data, maybe April 15th is the deadline probably for this kind of situation, Pan India, wherever the tomato cluster is there, 
the planting has to be done, that will be correct the land. Can we have a mechanism to get the data, what's the area planted? Because people say, if you talk to the nurserymen, they will say one figure. If you talk to the seed company, they will say one figure. This is all a misleading figure. Proper figure will not get it. For example, if the 15th of uh, April, this much acre is not planted, if some mechanism is there, collect the data, and uh, sensitize the farmers, we can go further. So this kind of situation is not happened. Probably this unpleasant price rise happened because of the less planting in the month of April. How to avoid this in future? So we have to think about how to get this data. Because no point of analysis, artificial intelligence, machine learning will not help unless the hard data comes in. There are two events which uh, shape up the tomato prices. Overall planting and unexpected events. One super cyclone hitting a regional area or one event that is catastrophic event can upset the apple cart. So at the probably after analyzing all the uh, plan recommendations, we will also draw probably a conclusion as to what we took over from this particular this thing and let's, again this is a continuous discussion and uh, I would also like to add at this point that ATPBR, myself and Tiku and many others have been thinking about a book on tomato which need to come because so far whatever the books that we have had is only books pertaining to e Europeans have written and we are largely dependent on what they have said in something. The entire African continent and the continents which are there in the tropics and subtropics countries, they are all looking forward to something for tropical and subtropical tomatoes. And we really never discuss the issues of micronutrients here because Dr. Ganesh Murthy could not come. We know that there are a number of small, small, small segments which are missing. But we would like to take the feedback from this, they are connecting to different persons uh, we envisage that in future something which uh, in a way is able to comprehensively cover many facets of tomato. Any other questions? Uh, yes sir, one thing. Uh, so one thing uh, in the two day session particularly I think uh, we are slightly missing the qualitative trade parts of the tomato uh, because uh, a lot of discussions happened regarding the quantitative trades, particularly the yield, uh, 70 tons, 80 tons, like this. Uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, private sector is uh, funding. ATPBR would like to have a meeting only on qualitative trades in horticulture crops. But the funding should come from private trade, no quantitative and qualitative. So we are ready to discuss. But the thing is, we have two days time, so many topics, so many issues. Yes. Sir. Okay, but, but yes, sir, it's okay. But from farmer point of view, now it, nowadays uh, quality makes a point. Quality we do. We have numerical assessment of quality and how do you give weightage to each of those traits is a very critical thing. But somebody has to bend the cat. And we are ready, ATPBR is ready to do. We also require, I told you, I said clearly, tell me who is going to support, we will organize a meeting. Uh, anybody else? We don't see women in science. Madam, aap to kuch kehna chate hai? Radha. Radha. Madam, aap piche baite hai? Yourself, students. Kuch kehna nahi? Na. Anuradha. Hi. Thank you for organizing such an amazing program. I just wanted one suggestion. I had one suggestion which was like I would love if you could have like a round table kind of a meeting with all these different people you mentioned whether it be a policy maker at the same table along with uh, you know this public person the private person so that we could do something like speed uh, discussions <laughs> so you know at one table and then we move to the next table to give us a chance to interact at close quarters with everybody so this is something I would have liked even if it was during the dinner session it could be a, uh, I know everybody wanted to relax but I'm just saying that if we could organize something like that but at every table we could also carry forward this. We are very session. happy you host a dinner we'll have. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, very lighter way. No, I, take, I don't mind. Don't I'm take not, it seriously no, but I, it is also not a light suggestion. No, I would love it. I don't <laughs> mind. I've been telling you like that. Okay. Something like that. See, so, the thing is, yeah, okay. Thank you madam. That's very nice of you. And uh, anybody else?
It will be taken up in the proceedings. Yes. Sir. And the best scientists can do it is only to share with the authorities. And it is also the responsibility of the... For example, let me tell you very clearly. I speak, uh, I call spade a spade. I expected a good sprinkling from the Department of Horticulture to be here. Because they are the persons who take these kinds of things at the policy level. They didn't come. So, how do you expect somebody to... If they can only... Scientists can only do this much. And the strategy is, if all the private sector and others people simply shoot a letter to the government that none of you guys were present, so many issues were discussed, policy issue was discussed, what the government is doing? Apne aap aajai. I have... Sir, please. Sir, just talking about... Uh, the proceedings, you just mentioned that you would probably submit to the authority. But what I would like you to consider is uh, to make sure that because you are in the you were in the policy area, you know how the system works. So at least a like minded set of people with some industry representatives should have a meeting in Delhi with the key stakeholders and apprise them of this confidence uh, proceedings. It should not just be submitted to them, it should be a formal representation and ATPPR has everything in its uh, ammunition to do. Taking a suggestion from you, a, a very crystallized point-wise suggestions, recommendations that emanated, I will be sharing along with Dr. Tiku and uh, the ATPPR Dr. Parna. A personal letter will go to Dr. Ramesh Chand as to what we expect and also to one to Dr. Ashok Darwai and then we will see what best they can do it further. Okay. Um, any other things from the university side? From those who are sitting behind, who are very happy to sit behind? <laughs> right. Okay. In that case, I hand over the mic to Dr. Aparna, um, the person who was the backbone of this entire conference. Good evening to everybody. I can see every faces, you know, very disappointed, just looking to the watch and uh, planning to run back home. So I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I'm really sorry I will take a few more minutes because this is very important component saying thank you to everybody because this gratitude make you more, you know, sensible about your responsibilities. <laughs> So I uh, take this honor to present this word of thanks for this evening. We had a very exhaustive day yesterday and today as well, but I'm sure it must be worth. I'm sure you all full of knowledge, um, insight, collaboration, cooperation, future planning. So these exertion will not waste for you. Let me start. First and foremost, I would like to express my sincere appreciations to all the speakers, panelists who has really poured their knowledge here and share their experience to all of you. A special thanks to those people who couldn't attend this meeting due to some other engagement. Dr. K.S. Mohan, Advisor Biotech. Um, Product Development and Scholarship, Dr. Ravindra Director, uh, Ravindra. Director of Research TNU, um, Dr. Tikthappa Chattopadhyay from Bihar Agriculture University. They couldn't attend, so thank you for uh, them giving their commitment for the session. And a special thanks to Dr. Asif, who managed to have his time from the World Vegetable Center, Taiwan, and he gave a wonderful presentation. Uh, gratitude extend to our chair, co-chair, moderator. It's a huge responsibility on their shoulder to give a proper direction and take the best from all the speakers and panelists and they did a wonderful job. So thank you for giving all your time. A very special thanks to all the reporters. That's a, that's a very important job to summarize the session, what we had these two days and their role is not going to end here. They have to be with us till we are not ready with the recommendation and proceeding. So thank you all the repetitors for giving your 
uh, thoughtful knowledge for summarizing the session. Thank you, Newland India Private Limited, Indo American Hybrid Seeds, Agri Search India Private Limited, East West Seeds Private Limited, and Rightfront India Seeds Private Limited for being our bronze sponsor. And thank you, Bayer and Noble Seeds Private Limited for our lunch sponsor. Well, that's really a great patience required to be here. And I'm sure uh, it's, it's really an honor to see the half. Uh, half of the hall is still full, so that gave a you know, positive vibes to us being your organizer that we did the proper justification with this conference and more than 250 delegates were here, so it's really a great honor and I really want to you know, give, a, give a great applause to all of you for being our team participants. Um, well, without being a collaborative partner like UHS Bagal Court, it would have been really um, very challenging for us to organize conference like this. So it's it's um, great, um, you know, great support they have been given at the ground level, and um, I would like to thank you, Dr. Suresha sir, for you know, beside being so busy, he managed to be here. He gave sufficient uh, time, he gave you know, encouragement that we have organized this conference here. So thank you to him and uh, my Sherpa sir, being the head of the whole uh, you know, organization, he was here two days continuously um, leading this whole set of people who were working under his supervision. And I really wanted to give the name to everybody who has contributed. And also a small token of appreciation for them. From the registration committee, we have Dr. Shivana. Dr. Please, please, uh, please uh, come on the dais to take the small token of appreciation. Hmm? So um, that will be given later. Huh? The what is it? The mentors. Come to take this honor. Leave it, leave it here. The whole team will come, and then we will give the honor together. So I request the team, Ratti Prasad, Dr. Thongamani, Dr. Srinivas, please come on the dais. Nobody is here. From transportation and accommodation support, it was a huge pain. It was really a huge pain. So thank you to Dr. Shankarappa sir, Dr. Prabhakar, Dr. Doda Basapa. Please, please come on the dais. Dr. Harish Chandanai. From the reception and hospitality, Dr. Venkat Rao. Everybody will be coming, sir. Everybody is important for us. Please be here. Dr. Venkat Rao, Dr. Sadanan GK. From the program committee, Dr. CN Hanshina Nami, Dr. Ganga Dhar, Dr. Rajeshwari, Dr. Jayashri, Dr. Lakshmi Devamma. Just be here, sir. Nobody is here from the program committee? Sir, sir, sir. Please, please, please come. Please come on the dance. <laughs> Dr. Minakshi. Dr. Padmananda. Dr. Minakshi. Dr. Padmanabha. Dr. Shankarappa. Excuse me, ma'am, 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 ma excuse me, excuse me, please look here. Dr. Shita Ramo from State and Decoration Committee. Dr. Mani Krishna Appa. Excuse me, please. Dr. Yatidra. Excuse me. Dr. Pavan Kumar. From the food committee, Dr. Krishna Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Dr. Suresh. Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Excuse me. Look here. Dr. Shiva Priya. Okay. From exhibition and poster presentation committee, Dr. Vasudeva. Dr. Manjuna. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Sasa, look here. 
Omidia, Dr. Lakshman Reddy, Dr. Shreda, just be here, just be here, don't go please. Science teaming, Dr. Prabhakar, Dr. Kungamani. Everybody, all the students, they are also very valuable, they were running around. Uh, Dr. They, they are the also. Students, please be on the first row, be seated. Be on your knee. Students, please be on your knee. Be on your knee, we can have a good day. Come, come front, come front. Photo, photo, bro. Please hold on. Hold on, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, everyone smile. One, two, three. Please hold on, hold on. Throw back, 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 back. Smile, 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 all of you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sit down, top. Sir, look here, sir, sir. Sir, look here, sir. Sir, please look. Okay. Nay, uh, now um, there was a poster presentation. Sir, sir, please look. Sir, down, down. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. She is scored second position in the poster presentation. Now I would like to um, thank okay. look here, look here, look here, look here. publication supporter from the NAPAR. Please come on the guys. Excuse me, excuse me, sir, this side, this side, this side. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Yeah. I think I have covered okay. everything behind me. I should okay, stand close. So, 1, 2, 3. I think I have covered everything. Smile, 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 all of you. Please smile, sir. Please hold on, hold on. Just a minute. Bro, 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 side, bro. Please wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't take 